This week in our open air summer series, we head to Hamburg, which has been celebrating the wealth of remarkable architecture the city has to offer. With over 250 exhibitions, lectures, and tours, Hamburg's annual Summer of Architecture Festival is a delight for locals and visitors alike. Richard Fischer has taken a series of photographs of the new Harbour City District, a waterfront development project that has been under construction since 2003. He's presenting some of the photos at an open air exhibition that's part of the festival. Super. Fischer is a huge fan of the Harbour City project. Every building was designed and built by a different architect. That was the concept. And it's created a very diverse architecture here. When I started taking my pictures, I focused on the Übersee Quartier district. And I found that the people who live and work there have a real sense of community and a pioneering spirit. Thirty years ago, Fischer took a series of photographs of the warehouse district. The oldest buildings here date back to the late 19th century. The images are a journey through time that capture the interplay of old and new. The open-air exhibition of Richard Fischer's photographs of the vibrant and diverse Harbour City project and the historic warehouse district are a highlight of this year's architecture festival. The Contour House district is located right next to the warehouse complex. The best known building in this old office district is the Hila House, which was built by architect Fritz Höger between 1922 and 1924. It's now under consideration as a UNESCO World Heritage Building. I meet with Agnes Seemann of the city agency in charge of historic monuments and buildings to find out what makes the Chile House so special. The Chile House is unique in a number of ways. First, we have this very dramatic corner that juts out, which made the building world famous. Next, of course, we have these violet and brown clinker bricks that Fritz Höger used as a very decorative element to define and organize the various sections of the exterior. The Chile House gets a mention in almost every major book of architectural history. It's one of the best-known buildings in the world and one of the most architecturally significant buildings of the early 20th century. From our vantage point on the roof, we look across the old and new architecture of Hamburg's waterfront districts. The TV tower would also offer a spectacular view, but it's been closed to the public for many years now. The street art group that calls itself Guerilla Lighting stops by in the middle of the night to work their magic. It's a brief moment in the limelight for a building that's languishing in disrepair. After four minutes, the light show is done. We're not trying to say that the TV tower should be lit up or illuminated in exactly the way we've done it here. We're just trying to call attention to it. In urban areas, less is more when it comes to light. And we also want to respect the building's architecture and the way it looks in the daytime. So we don't want our lighting to look completely different here at night than it would during the day. Guerilla Lighting, yet another thing that makes Hamburg's Summer of Architecture a must-see event. The next day, I pay a visit to the architect André Poitier. He's currently working on a major project. 
As I look at the plans, I realize it's not just large, it's enormous. Poitiers is redesigning the central area of Hamburg's Altona district. The project will feature about 3,500 new apartments in an old industrial area. It's one of Hamburg's most ambitious new architectural ventures. Poitiers is incorporating ideas from many different directions. I'll collaborate with other architects and include many different concepts to create a lively district. If one architect designs it all, it'll be sterile and lifeless. We need to give the people who will live here a district that has some life to it. If a single architect designs it all, every building, it'll just be monotonous. There's nothing worse than monotony. Monotony is hard to imagine in quirky Altona. André Poitier's project will shape the district's future. Even the old train station will be replaced. More than any other German city today, Hamburg is a city on the move.